another one that many artists, especially independent artists, they they always want to collab with well-known artists. Yeah. Um, is this an effective strategy still? Would you mm. recommend to any artist who's trying to get themselves out there, save up your money, go get a known artist, collab with them, get them on your record, and you're off to the races? Or is there a better way to use, um, use their budget? Most For the most part, I would not suggest people reach out for a collab, especially when you're on the a startup. There's levels when it starts to make sense. So I'll walk through this. There's phases. Phase one, what you need to understand digitally is just this artist's makeup. If you feel like they're worth collabing with, that means I'm assuming you feel like you have some similar fans with them. Digitally today, you, you are able to target their fan bases or something similar in that space. First start there and get those fans that way. A start to establish enough for yourself. You can uh, do YouTube placements and target their, their, their music videos and things like that. If anything, that starts to warm them up, people up for when you do have a future, uh, a, fe a feature with them, right? Now they've known you, they've been seeing you on their videos and now all of a sudden you got a song with it. Oh, snap, right? The, the strategy. Um, but the amount of money that features cost a lot of times, especially from the people that you want to do it with a lot of times, is not worth it because uh, in, in many cases, because what happens is they'll get the song, right? Uh, a lot of times the artists that you're getting a feature from, Chris Brown, whoever, right? Might not even know, right? Somebody who, who got extra verses, a producer, or a, a manager, or old manager, you got a verse, that artist doesn't know. They're not bringing their attention to you. So you talked about the endless abyss of content online. Why does it matter? that you have this person on the song, if one, that person doesn't give any attention to it, they're not in the music video or they're in the music video and they still don't promote it, right? And two, you don't have the money after that feature to then promote that you have this person on the song. You get what I'm saying? So there has to be levels and you have to be prepared for that. And then one thing very specific when you get into the feature game, because it is something that's, uh, that is useful. Don't get me wrong. Again, after that phase where you establish enough, you should start to see people on Spotify that are related to you, right? People who listen to you also listen to this artist and Spotify kind of naturally um, like gauges it in terms of levels. It's not gonna be someone at the top of, top of your genre. It'll be people in similar. So it's easier to collaborate with those people for similar money right, or no money at all, because y'all are on a, a similar level. And then on top of that, once that collaboration is done, right, what you need to make sure you do is, I forgot the name of it, it's like a priority um, tag or something that you do on Spotify, where it's posted on their page, right? So you can do a feature with somebody, and literally, like I said, not only is it not promoted, it doesn't even show up on that artist Spotify, but you can also do a feature with an artist, all right? And then you, but you have to ask for their permission. They have to grant this. Spotify changed it that way because people were finessing a lot um, in the past. And so make sure I would, if I had to do any deal with somebody, I would say, yo, part of this deal is me being on your priority and showing up on your Spotify. Hey, if it doesn't make sense right now, because you, you know, you releasing or you, you know, on your 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 dark mode right now, cool. But I'd rather just wait to do this or release it around when you can, uh, when you can, um, promote it and put it on your page so I can get all this organic extra attention. Yeah, and if, if I can add anything to that, um, and I know this is your space, but this is not 2010, 2015. The world has changed. And yes, sir. if I could give any, if, uh, any advice to any up and coming artists, I'd say, save your money. And the reason I'd say it, just to add to every one of the great um, pieces of advice you just gave, Spotify is not playing, they're not adding the record if it's not cleared. And there's so many different layers to getting artists cleared at this point. So whether it's, it's Spotify or it's any of 
um, these different <clears throat> streaming services or even conventional radio, terrestrial radio, the, the, the chance of you getting the use out of this feature that you paid tens of thousands of dollars for is slim if the label or management or somebody that that artist is signed to does not give you the proper clearances. It, it, you can have this record, it can be a hit record, but you're not gonna be able to expose it. So I don't know if that's the best strategy like it once was even five years ago. No, um, like it's something that you touched on, people don't understand that it's not just about what the artist wants. Like exactly. you said, it could be somebody completely different. Your artist, oh yeah, man, you good. Like an artist asked me to do a video on him and I use some of his content. He asked me to do it and then the people shut it down, the rights and all that stuff. Like he, you know, so no, that's that's the thing. Only collaborate with people who are probably indie. That's going to be the most control and, and, and most, most worth it if you do it. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.